Hi everyone, my name is Joe Yonkers and today I'm going to walk you through the online registration process for summer camp. There are three steps to process your online registration. First, pick your schedule and make a payment. Second, pick your program. Third, log in and add all other additional information, allergies, dietary restrictions, and medical information to your profile. Before we get started, I want to show you how our program is set up online. Our program is broken down by schedules and programs. This can be found in the left navigation bar of our online software. Schedules define if you want your child to attend the full eight weeks, six weeks, four weeks, or two weeks of summer camp. For example, I'm looking to enroll my child for the entire eight weeks of summer camp. So I would click show details and register next to the eight weeks of summer camp. Click add to shopping cart. And then I would further view my shopping cart by clicking here. If I only want to attend six weeks of summer camp, there's two options. I can attend from June 28th to August 6th, or from July 12th to August 20th. If I only want to attend four weeks of summer camp, I can choose if I want to come from July 28th, June 28th to July 23rd, July 12th to August 6th, or July 26th to August 20th. Or if I just want to attend two weeks of summer camp, I can choose if I want to come from June 28th, to July 9th, July 12th, July 23rd, July 26th to August 6th, or August 9th to August 20th. So there are choices, combinations, different availabilities. You have the option to choose what you want your child to attend. To find our registration software link, uh, you're gonna go to qccamp.com. On this page, you want to click continue to summer camp home. And then from here, uh, the register now link will take you to our registration software. But uh, just so you know, this uh, video is going to be uploaded to our summer camp homepage. It can be found uh, under the more link in the step-by-step -step registration field. So if you click uh, just so we can get into the program and how to register, click register now. There's two navigations we really want to focus on today. It would be the courses and memberships and the returning user login. If you register for summer camp last year or the year before, most likely your child has a user profile. If you know your user profile ID, that's great. If you don't know it, that's fine. You can always retrieve that by clicking this button here where it says need help, forget your login and password. All you have to do is fill out these three criteria. This is your uh, son, daughter, niece, nephew, grandchild's uh, camper information. So it would be their last name, their first name, and their email address. Click submit. And you're going to get this message on the top of your page. It says your user ID and password was emailed to you. Once that email is sent to you, you're going to see you have your login and your password. The system is going to reset the password that you previously had. So it's going to default your username and your password are going to be the same. Once you have this information, I suggest to copy and paste it. Now that you just send your email, you're going to paste your username and password in there. Click continue. Now you're registered. And now you're in their uh, campers profile. Uh, on the left, you're going to see register for courses. This takes you to the course browser. Uh, if you're a new camper, you want to click courses and memberships. You want to make sure the division says summer camp. It's currently defaulted to summer camp, but summer camp might not be there. So just do the drop down menu, select summer camp. Then you're going to go and click this arrow to enter the brooch, online brochure for summer camp. 
Now you want to pick a schedule. Your first step is to pick a schedule. So you're going to open up this link, link on the navigation, pick a weekly schedule and make a payment. You're going to select whether you want to do two, four, six, or eight weeks. For example, I'm going to register right now for eight weeks. So I'm going to select eight weeks. I'm going to click this button here that says show detail and register. And I'm going to add this to shopping cart. Once you add something to your shopping cart, you want to review your shopping cart. So you're going to click your shopping cart here. You're going to continue to register. Now you're going to enter your student user ID, which we already talked about previously. So if you know it, you can enter that in here. If you don't know it, you can click this button here. Or if you're new to summer camp, you can click this here and create your student user profile. So I'm going to create a new student user profile and register as a new summer camp for that eight weeks. So you're going to fill out all the information here, as well as the information here for parent information. This information here on the top is the campers information. If you're registering multiple children, you're going to have to fill out each one for each student. I entered all the camper information here and then all the parent information here as well as the emergency contact here. Once you're done, click save. You have your student ID, click continue. Now you're just gonna make a payment. You can apply discounts. If you're registering during the open house, the discount code is WKB21. You're gonna click apply. You see the discounts in here. So the total fee is 3,154. This box here is if you want to add any additional information or want to let, or want us to know something. Let's say you wanted to add an extra hour in the morning. You wanted to add an extra hour in the evening. You wanted your child to be with a friend in summer camp. You want them to be in the same group. So you can extract, you can tell, let us know that information here. Or if you wanted to opt out to swim, you can write that information here. All the information you write in here is linked to the campers profile and we get notified so that we would have to, we would eventually view it. We would read it, we would see it. And then we would get back to you. It could take some time though to get back to you. It could take up to 48 hours, but uh, we're pretty quickly in about getting back to you with all this information. Then you just wanna scroll down the page, agree to reading the refund policy, which is written above. Click continue. Now this takes you to a third party vendor, Elevon, where you can enter your credit card information, hit process. Once you hit process, a receipt will get emailed to you. It would show you your statement, it would show you the schedule you're registered for, and now you just completed the first step of registration. Now that I completed the first step, picking a schedule, now I want to go to the second step and pick a program. To do that, you have to log back in to your uh, user profile that you just created. So you're going to log into the registration software, click return in user login. You're going to enter the profile you just created. Click continue. Now click register for courses. Same thing as before, you wanna make sure this says summer camp and click this arrow here. Now you wanna select your program. If you notice when next clicked it selected program, a navigation bar appeared with all the ages that, that we have available for summer camp. So let's say I'm, I registered, I already picked a schedule for eight weeks. So now I just have to fill up that eight week schedule with different programs. 
So let's say my child's uh, seven years old, and I'm interested in taking either brain works, theater, literature and arts, or STEM. If you want, if you want interested in taking brain works, click show detail and register. Now it shows you all the availabilities for BrainWorks. BrainWorks is a four week program. You can register for AB June 28th to July 23rd or CD July 26th to August 20th. Kids Theater is also a four week program. Literature and Arts is a two week program. So you have options. You can take Literature and Arts for week, session A June 28th to July 9th, session B from July, uh, July 12th to July 23rd, session C from July 26th to August 6th, or session D from August 9th to August 20th, and so on with STEM. STEM is, this, is a similar uh, four-week program as well, a two-week program as well. So let's say I'm interested in taking STEM. I'm interested in registering my child for STEM for weeks A and B. So I'm gonna select A, and I'm gonna go down and select B. Add those two to the shopping cart. Now I'm interested, interested in taking BrainWorks for the final four weeks of summer camp. So I'm gonna click Show Detail and Register for BrainWorks. And click Add to Cart for the final four weeks of summer camp. Once you're finished adding everything to your shopping cart, you just wanna view your shopping cart. Everything is viewed here. You can remove it. If you say, oh, I don't want to register for uh, two weeks of STEM, you can remove this and then go back in and re-add things. But let's say I'm, I'm, I, like, uh, I agree with what I'm taking. I like what I'm taking. Now let's say this is what I want to take. I'm finished reviewing my shopping cart. Scroll down to the bottom, click continue to register. System's gonna ask you to log back in to the user profile you just created. Some programs have tech fees. As you can see, BrainWorks has a $50 tech fee for the four weeks, and STEM has a $25 tech fee for the each two weeks. So once you're done here, you're going to scroll down. You're going to agree to the refund policy, click continue. And then you're asked to pay the additional $100 for the tech fees for those uh, programs. Enter your credit card information, hit process. And now you're registered. Now you've completed step two, registering for programs. Now that you've completed steps one and two, you selected a schedule, you selected a program. Now you just have to go log in and complete the whole registration process. You have to add all the other additional information. If you click, uh, I just wanna log back into the user's uh, login. Click return and user login. Now that you're logged in, you can view registered courses. So all the courses you just registered for, you can view them. Uh, you can view your statement. Statement appears. Shows everything I just did. Now you want to add additional information. This would be the t-shirt size, the child's age, the grade they're going to be entering in September, and the current school they're attending. You're going to add that information. You're going to click Save. Once you're done with that, then you want to view and update your user information. You see all the information I added before is here. Now you want to update your allergy information. Click here. You can add all the different allergies. You just have to click. The ailments and medical concerns click here all your dietary restrictions you can click there click save now 
Then later on, uh, you're going to be asked to upload your medical information to the user profile. You click Documents. You can upload uh, any PDF file that you have to upload to your user profile, which would be your medical cards, your any doctor's notes, or any anything you want. You can upload to the user profile. And uh, thank you for joining me. This completes the registration process.